law. You're going to an anger management retreat. Nice. No, you think, Kaboop. The retreat isn't to calm me. It's to make me even angrier. I've been taking it too easy on you. Too easy? Last week you filled my pants with piranhas. Exactly. And if I'd been angrier, I would have filled them with lava. <laughs> Remember, no fun, no games, and no evil plans while I'm gone. Or you'll feel the new and improved fury of claw. Fine, I promise. To do the opposite of what you just said. <laughs> Time to initiate evil plan Talon Alpha Hair Gel Prime. First, capture trillionaire hair gel tycoon, Ms. Harriet Bufontington, and charm her into signing her fortune over to me. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard. Then I'll have enough dough to start my own evil empire. Oh, yeah! Welcome to my Dip Into Diplomacy workshop. I'll need a volunteer. Why, thank you, Brain. Huh? Come on up. <laughs> we'll begin with a little role play. Brain will represent an HQ agent, while the Hollow Program will simulate his foes. Or, as I like to call them, his future friends that currently want to hurt him. Computer, begin simulation. As you can see, Brain did not use his words. A little diplomacy would have gone a long way. Observe. Hello. I see you're lashing out at my colleague here. I understand. He can be a little trying at times. You see? You can catch more flies with honey than with vinegar, as they say. But shouldn't we be more concerned about catching bad guys? If honey's involved, I say do both. Chief, up for some role-playing? No. This is my only role today. We believe Mad has old lady-napped hair gel tycoon, Miss Harriet Bonnebel Bufontington. If she forks over her follicle fortune to Dr. Claw, he'll have the bucks to bankroll his mean and dirty schemes permanently. Your mission? Snag that heiress before things get hairy. This message will self-destruct. Sounds like a standard grab the old lady and run operation to me. Grabbing's no way to treat an old lady, Penny. We have to use diplomacy. Like how I'm using it to not criticize the chief for his silly props. If the GPS data from Ms. Bufontington's hairpin is right, we should be right... <gasps> do you know where we are? Of course I do. A hotel. It says so right there on the sign. Oh. And from the looks of things, the place has fallen on really hard times. If Miss Bufontington's here, I'll need to have a talk with the manager about the facilities. Using diplomacy. We're in the heart of one of Dr. Claw's lairs, Brain. You stick with Uncle Gadget. I'm gonna look for Ms. B. Who knows what Mad could be doing to that helpless old lady. Oh! Stop! You're slaying me! With laughter! Oh! <laughs> and then she said, is that a perm or are you wearing a poodle? <laughs> oh, I love hair-related humor. You are the most charming hotel manager I've ever met. With the silkiest mane. Too uh, bad this hotel isn't as charming as you. Oh, uh, we're a theme hotel. Shabby chic for the uber rich. And speaking of rich, we'll inherit your fortune one day. Any little Bufontingtons in the picture? Oh, no! Babies are bold! I'm still searching for that special heir. Uh, come to think of it, you would make a fine candidate. Really? Your heir? <laughs> Stop, but go on. <laughs> really, go on. I mean it. You have the perfect hair about... <clears throat> I mean, air about you. And I happen to have the papers right here. I could make you my hair today. <clears throat> I mean, air today. I'd be honored to be your heir apparent. <laughs> Why don't I get a pen and some tea to celebrate? <laughs> Stay calm. Stay calm. Hmm. Dim lighting, dark colors, heavily weaponized security system. <gasps> no ice machine? This hotel isn't just run down, it's downright hostile. You're right, Brain. It is disgraceful. The diplomatic thing would be to lead by example. Go, go, Gadget, scrub brush. More light? That's exactly what this place needs. And look, here come some bellhops to help us. Excuse me, good sirs. Would you kindly show us the way to your employer? We need to let him know how awful this hotel is without hurting his feelings. Thank you! 
She comes with her own wheels? This rescue's gonna be a cinch. <gasps> I'm here to rescue you. Rescue me? But I don't... Ah! By the time this tea party's over, I'll be a zillionaire with unlimited styling products. <sighs> Dreams really do come true. <laughs> Talon! Talon! What? Nothing. Just practicing my new anger yells. The instructor told me I need to put more dye in diaphragm. You know, you might want to consider being nicer to me. I could be rich someday and you catch more flies with honey. But you crush more flies with a giant fly swatter and rage. Ugh, chillax. Soon you'll be able to pay people to have feelings for you. Hey! That's my little old lady! Hmm. I'll have to find a diplomatic way to tell the manager his hotel is very difficult to navigate. It's nice that they allow pets, though. Woo! Bad brain. Invading another animal's space is very undiplomatic. Go back at peace offering. Look, Brain, he's leading us to the manager's office. Is there anything a little diplomacy can't do? <sighs> hey! Get back here with my meal ticket on wheels, Pen! You know what they say, Talon. Where there's a wheel, there's a way. Stop! I won't go anywhere without this clean-cut charmer. Talon? Charming? Is all that hair strangling your brain? Your tea, Miss B? Milk. No sugar. Because you're already so sweet. Oh. <laughs> oh, you're as smooth as your sideburns. Which is why I'm delighted I'm making you my heir. You're making him your heir? But he's evil! Me evil? Well, he hasn't harmed a hair on my head! Unlike you. <sighs> Finally, the manager's office. <laughs> yes, Brain, there should be a desk bell around here. Ah, oh, there it is! Go go gadget bell ringer! Thank you for your timely response. Now, which one of you is in charge? No matter. I only have a few minor suggestions for your hotel. Mm, how do I phrase this nicely? I know. Go Go Gadget Tactful Diplomacy. I think we may have gotten off on the wrong foot. I know Talon seems nice, but what if it's all an act just to steal your money? Are you willing to take that risk? Especially when I'm asking so nicely. Penny, you make a very diplomatic argument. I'd make one too. But I shan't tell Ms. Buffontington what to do. She's wise and lovely enough to do that herself. My only hope is that she goes with her heart. Well spoken, haircut. <laughs> a talon. That settles it. I choose you. Ha ha ha! Done! Thank you, Miss B, for being such a sucker! <laughs> now I can build the greatest evil empire with the best hair care products the world has ever known! <laughs> no, 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 no! Ah, Mr. Hotel Manager. I've taken the liberty of giving your office an open-air patio. You're welcome. Do you have any idea how much this will cost to fix? Oh, <laughs> On second thought, not my problem. I'm rich! You didn't become heir. You signed over rights to your hair. <gasps> Harriet! Is this true? Afraid so. I plan to add those luscious locks to my private collection the moment I laid eyes on them. Consider yourself disowned. And under arrest. You'll have to catch me and my silky do first. Ha! Huh? Wait. What? <laughs> Wait for it. Hey, where did you... Buffington. Mad's going to be, well, 
mad. I also saved all future guests of this hotel from having a terrible stay. Thank you, diplomacy. I wonder if they've implemented my suggestions. Do you mind checking, Chief? <laughs> I'm glad I attended that retreat so I can be extra angry at you. What do you have to say for yourself, Talon? <laughs> well, maybe he should teach the retreat next time. Next time! Seriously, that's one angry guy. <laughs> <laughs>